Good afternoon, good afternoon. You're on the Don't Give an Hour. And we're here to encourage you to push forward, to keep on trying, to not give up. That's called a Don't Give an Hour because we want to, we want to inform you that your breakthrough is coming, it's on the way. All this month of coming storms and how to deal with them. And to this, today's topic is the storm is coming. The question is not if the storm comes in our lives. The question is when the storm comes in our lives. It can come at morning, noon, at night. It can come when we least expect it. We know it's coming. So the question is, are we prepared for the storm when it comes in our lives? You know, we prepare for a vacation. We pack our clothes. Make, we, we make our reservations. We make sure we have enough time to get to our destination. We make sure that, that we make sure that everything can run, that everything's going to run smoothly. So since we know the storm is coming our way, it behooves us to prepare for that storm that's going to come our way. It could be a financial storm, a health storm. It could be a family member dying storm. It could even be a, a, a job storm, an employment storm. Whatever storm comes your way, comes our way, we can handle it. And it's one verse of scripture. That's all we got today. And it comes from John 16 and 33. And it says, These things have I spoken unto you, that ye might have peace. In the world you shall, you shall have tribulations. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Now Jesus had spoken to his, 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 his disciples and told them about things that are going to happen to them. He told he he told he he, he asked and informed them that they're going to be persecuted. He informed them that they're going to get into trouble for his namesake. But 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 verse one says. These things have I spoken unto you, that you might have peace. What he was saying here was saying that if you have me, you don't have peace. I am the storm fixer, as we uh, as we as 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 we discussed the the, the last lesson. It's the storm fixer in our lives. We have him in our lives. We have nothing to worry about. He is the one who can deliver us, save us, support us, and help us through anything we go through in our lives. And then it says, In this world you shall have tribulations. That's saying the storm is coming in our lives. We have tests and trials and tribulations and storms. Hard times, easy times. Heartaches, pains. There are going to be people who are dying to die in lives who we love. We're going to lose something that's, that, 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 that's precious to us. But it says, in this world, you should have tribulations. Now, this is the good part. This is the good part. But be of good cheer. Let's, let's, let's stop at that. Be of good cheer. Even though I'm having this trouble... And this trial in my lifetime, it says, be of good cheer. Even though things are, are falling apart in my life, be of good cheer. Even though I don't see no way out, be of good cheer. Even though, even though all my friends are not there, be of good cheer. Even though, even though, even though. I lost my job, be a good cheer. 
even though I lost my little one, be a good cheer. Even though I lost my house, my car, even though I'm all alone, be of good cheer. It says, why? It says, because I have overcome the world. Jesus has given us victory. Jesus gives us did Jesus give us victory in our lives? We have victory in our lives because of what he did on the cross for us 2,000 years ago. We have, we, 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 we can win. We can win. But the question is, do we want to? It's all in how we see things. Do we see glasses half empty or us half full? So, I admonish me and you to build good cheer. No matter what the circumstance, no matter what the problem, no matter, no, no matter if it seems hopeless, build good cheer. No matter of how, no matter how things look, feel, see, or taste, be of good cheer. Because good God from Zion, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has overcome the world. Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has overcome the world. And because he got up, we can also get up from anything that comes our way. From anything that's trying to stop us from doing His will. We have His power and anointing flowing through us. The question is, we use it. Now, we want you to join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. Don't give up. Now, this movement doesn't cost any money. There's no hazing. No membership fee. We ask that you encourage someone else who's going through a so-called hard time. Let them know there is hope. Let them know not to give up. Let them know that breakthrough is only a few minutes away. Let them know that they can make it. And if that don't work, share your testimony. Because your testimony just may give them the strength and the power to push forward. Remember, today's topic is the storm is coming. It's not when, it's not if, it's when the storm comes in our lives. I don't care if you live be 120. Storms going to come and storms going to go. Storms going to come and storms going to go. But we have the storm fixer, as in last week's lesson, on our side to step in and speak peace to that storm that's in our lives. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, get to know him. He's the best person you can know. He's the best person. He's the best person you can have. You can have in life because he will lift you up when you when you're down. He'll pick you up. Put your feet on a solid rock to stay. He'll encourage you. Give you strength and power to push forward through the storms of life. Have a great day. And go with God.